Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Alan Burgos from the Hashtag Walk With Land channel. Welcome and welcome back to our channel. All right, so this time around, uh, we are done with the, no, huh? with the RA 10175 chapters 1 and 2. So we will be uh, proceeding to our uh, chapter 3. Na, no? So chapter 3 is all about penalties. No? So section 8, penalties. Uh, meron na tayo kasing ano dun eh, no? Um, punishable acts, chapter 2. No? Tapos yung uh, introduction, chapter 1. Okay? So uh, chapter 3 is all about penalties. It's, it says here that penalties, any person found guilty of any of the punishable acts no? enumerated in sections 4, uh, A, and B. No? Yung sa taas yun, no? So uh, you just need to go back to, to my previous video. No? 4A and 4B of this act shall be punished with imprisonment. In, in, ko kasi uh, you, we need to be aware of this. No? With imprisonment of prison mayor or a fine of at least 200,000 pesos up to a maximum amount commensurate to the damage incurred or both. No? So pwedeng you could be fined no, 200,000 pesos and no, you, would, you will be jailed no, by the state. So mahirap yun. No? Mahirap yun nasa loob, guys. That's why we need, to, we, we need to know this. Any person found guilty of the punishable act under sections 4A and 4B, uh, 4A, sorry, rather, in 5, shall be punished with imprisonment of prison mayor, prison mayor, or a fine of not more than 500,000 pesos, 500,000 or both. If punishable acts in section 4A are committed against critical infrastructure, what does it mean by critical infrastructure? No, ito yung mga waterage system, train system, uh, hospital, banking, etc. No, that is quite important. No, to, to the nation. No, pag ito na wala, no? mapipilay ang national economy or national security. For instance, ayan. No, the penalty of reclusion temporal or a fine of at least five hundred thousand pesos up to maximum amount commensurate to the damage incurred or both shall be imposed. So, ang hirap kitain ng 500,000 pesos, guys. No? That's why we need to be to be careful and not to, to do uh, crimes you know, against humanity using computers. All right? So, any person found guilty of any of the punishable acts enumerated in 4C and 1 of this act shall be punished with imprisonment of prison mayor or a fine of at least 200,000 pesos but not exceeding 1 million pesos or boost. <laughs> okay? Uh, it's either yung range na 200,000 pesos to 1 million pesos. So, sa makukunin nyo, no? Alright. Any person found guilty of any of the punishable acts enumerated in Section 4C and 2 of this act shall be punished with penalties as enumerated in Republic Act 9775 or the Anti-Child Pornography Act of 2009, provided that the penalty to be imposed shall be one degree higher than the provided for the Republic Act 9775 if committed through a computer system. So we discussed that uh, last time also, di ba? Uh, this one is Anti-Child Pornography Act 9775. No? So if somebody uh, committed this crime, no? uh, child pornography, okay, but instead of of using the regular thing okay uh, he or she is using uh, a computer no uh, uh, for for this crime this is one higher one degree higher no yung yung punishment okay anyway any person found guilty of the punishable acts enumerated in section 4 c and 3 shall be punished with imprisonment arresto mayor or a fine at least 50000 pesos but not exceeding 200000 pesos 250,000 pesos or both. So medyo maliit lang to. And a person found guilty, uh, in Section 5 should be punished with imprisonment uh, one degree lower than the prescribed penalty for the offense or a fine of at least 100,000 pesos but not exceeding 500,000 pesos or both. Okay? So corporate liability. Right? When any of the punishable acts are herein, Define are, know, are knowingly committed on behalf of or a benefit of a juridical person, 
by natural person acting either individually or as a part of an organ of the juridical person who was leading position with based on power of, of, of representation of the, the, of the juridical person provided the act committed false within the scope of such authority an authority to take decisions on behalf of the juridical person provided that the act committed falls with the scope of such authority or an authority to exercise control with the juridical person the juridical person shall be held liable for a fine equivalent to at least double the fines imposable in section 7 up to the maximum of 10 million pesos if the commission of any of the punishable acts herein the fine was made possible to the due to the lack of supervision or control by a natural person referred to and described in the preceding paragraph for the benefit of the juridical person by a natural person acting under, under its authority. The juridical person shall be held liable for a fine equivalent to at least double the fines in possible section 7 up to a maximum of 5 million pesos. Because we are talking of corporate here, eh? corporate. So, malaki din yung fine, di ba? 10 million. 5 million. The, 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 the liability imposed on the juridical person shall be without prejudice to the criminal liability of the natural person who has committed the offense. Okay? So, yun, medyo malaki yan, no? Pero, yan, again, no? So, sabi ko nga, um, this is in the perspective of the IT, no? So, hindi to sa law, no? Yung mga yan. Anyway, uh, tomorrow we will be discussing about chapter four, no? Chapter four, enforcement and implementation. All right, sige. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead of us. And let me shout out and honor my subscribers. They are now 6,350. No, mag mag 3,660 na, no? So we are road to, uh, we are road to. Uh, 4,000, no? 4,000 subscribers. Thank you very much and uh, I'm, I'm always praying for you. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.